What advice can everyone give for home sellers? I would recommend that home sellers pay for their own home inspection. Am and I say that. that prior to listing their property so that anything that comes up, they kind of already have a heads up on what needs to be fixed mm -hmm. and prepped before their house gets listed. Um, especially if you are going to be dealing potentially with an FHA buyer, there are certain things that are always going to pop up on, right. on your inspection that you have to fix. I am a big advocate of getting a pre-listing home inspection, even in my own properties that I, I buy and flip. Like I do that because one, not only can I see if anything's wrong, two, I can provide that in my documents to any potential buyers. Hey, you had a home inspection. Here, here's everything from the inspection. I have no secrets. Here you go. You can look at it. All these things have been fixed. So not only do they feel like I'm not being shady and I'm on the up and up, because of course they'll probably still get their own inspection, which as they should, you know, but I've already taken the time and the money. And, you know, in this market, I'm going to probably make that $500 or whatever it was back and then some. I think it's important to know your market, to know what your competition is. Look at other houses that are for, uh, for sale. Look at what is closed. Um, mm -hmm. Do they have um, chartreuse green bathrooms? If the answer is no, then maybe you need to evaluate your paint choices at your house. Mm -hmm. um, if you know they have a, um, <laughs> we actually had this happen. So I had a shed <laughs> in my old house and uh, we had a shed and then we built a fence and then didn't realize the spacing between the shed and the fence. And then we had to go back to the county mm -hmm. and get them to retroactively approve stuff. So speaking as a homeowner that that's happened to, make sure that you're in compliance with your county guidelines for fences mm -hmm. and sheds and anything like that. Make sure that you're in HOA compliance because you don't want to be clearing HOA violations, you know, days before closing. Okay, what advice do I have for a home seller? let's put a plan together what's what's the end goal you know are you looking to get a certain dollar amount as a net proceed are mm -hmm. you just looking to get out of there by a certain time frame right. um, like what's your what motivation is, is there a house you have in mind that you're looking to buy mm -hmm. so i try to listen and, and, and gather clues to see why are you selling right what are what are we what are we accomplishing by selling or what are what are what are we hoping to accomplish when we sell this house even even that um, recommendation, right? One of the things, just to piggyback off of all of this, it's really important for sellers to listen to their realtors. You chose your realtor for a reason. For a reason. There is, like, we are the professionals. We are going into homes on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. We're seeing way more homes than you are. We are seeing what's trending. We are writing offers for homes. We are accepting offers on homes. We know what works. Mm -hmm. And so um, while this can be an emotional process for people, and I don't think that people always realize how emotional that it can be, um, you hire your realtor for a reason. So